Andrew here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Silver Fox Lever Action Kit for the Nerf Rival Takedown. Um, I was able to pick this up while I was at End War. Uh, Silver Fox Industries happened to have been there and had a bunch of these for sale along with the Saturns. I was very tempted to get a Saturn one, but I really kind of wanted the Mare's Leg, so that's why I got the Takedown. Uh... I got this as a full, complete blaster setup. I did not do the installation for this, so I really, unfortunately, can't speak to that. Uh, however, I have been playing around with this since End War, and I know this is a probably a long, long time coming for this video, but I really wanted to showcase this. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take this kit apart because, I mean, it's all together. It makes no sense for me to do that. But we're going to go to the workbench so we can take a better look at it. Uh, just the quality of the kit, how it like kind of attaches, all that stuff. Then I'm going to give you my, uh, we're going to actually go into the, how it works, what I think of it, and then straight into final thoughts on it. Okay, so over here on the workbench, and we're just going to take a quick closer look at the lever kit from Silver Fox. So, as you can see here, there is plenty of, and I mean plenty of hardware holding this thing together. Um, not only is there plenty of hardware, but it's also very well reinforced. Uh, the front grip here is held together, or actually held in place by these two um, bolts that I believe go through everything. So keeping everything in place here, the lever action in and of itself, you have one bar going through the back part of where the priming handle uh, or the back screw of the priming handle because you can kind of see right there you have the one the additional screw where this is normally held on by two screws on the standard pump grip that comes with it and normally most pump grips will just wind up reusing those screws to attach their new ones or at least the ones that i have seen usually just reuse the original hardware to hold those in place so it's you know four little screws holding this in place this is now a bolt that just goes through one end and out the other so that is now really well reinforced uh, here at the joints you can see some pretty uh gnarly and heavy um pieces or um, hardware holding that together. You also have a, the section down here, which is also one bolt straight through and then the lever action in and of itself, where you can see here the uh, aluminum reinforcement on the lever, which is again, really good because right here is where all the weight winds up going. So and you can see here it would normally be pretty thin so having the aluminum reinforcement there is actually really really smart so over and all um also you can see here print quality is really really nice there's no blemishing whatsoever on this and it's just really really well constructed also you can see here the silver fox logo and also the silver fox logo here which is laser engraved on the aluminum um, there's not really much more i can kind of go into without taking away from the next part so let's just uh you know go back to where we were and we'll go into the overview of the kit and how it works and then you know continue on from there so let's go do that so how this kit works is, as you can see with what I had explained on how it gets installed, is you have your, what would have been a priming slide replaced by this bar, which then just goes through a bunch of different pieces into a lever. Which, so pushing the lever down primes your blaster back. Now this doesn't have any of the locks removed, so you can't, accidentally pull the trigger and you know snap the lever back on it uh since this is a rival blast i'd really rather not dry fire this thing 
So just put in one quick round, pull back, you're loaded, and it works. Uh, it just basically removes the pump action for a lever action way of priming it. And just, I'll do a real quick firing demonstration uh, with this thing on how it works fully loaded. And yes, I will do the flip cock. Okay, so quick little firing demonstration on how well the lever action works here. And yes, because it is the smaller takedown configuration, I will be doing the flip cock. Uh, no, it was not invented in Call of Duty. No, Arnold Schwarzenegger was not the first one to do it. And no, Chuck Connors was also not the first one to do it. Yes, he did it in The Rifleman before John Wayne and True Grit. True Grit. However, John Wayne first did the flip cock with a lever action rifle in Stagecoach in 1939. Fight. Little bit of a history lesson for all you out there. Okay, I have a little practice. I'm I'm a tad bit rusty, but now let's go give you my final thoughts on this thing. Okay, so my final thoughts on this thing. I'm very happy I got it. Um, I had been mulling around getting this particular kit from Silver Fox for quite some time. And once I was finally given a opportunity to just basically reach out and take one, well, obviously, and then pay for it, um, I, I went for it. Now, uh, the kit runs normally $75 to $95 on their website, depending on what you, uh, what style you basically want. Uh, this is, I believe, the standard aluminum one, which by here with the just the regular aluminum bar, uh, they have one that is anodized, so I'm guessing you can get it colorized. Uh, they didn't obviously have that option when I got mine. Uh, there's also a carbon fiber version. I don't know, honestly, what the big difference is. Personally, I'm happy with this one as is. So, uh, But yeah, everything about it is really nice. The print quality, um, as mentioned before, by Silver Fox is amazing. Um, some of, and I mean this no disrespect to my friends, but some of the best print quality I have seen in parts in quite some time. Um, I'm not dissing anybody, I'm just saying these prints are really good. Um, so, and I mean, the kit's solid. Uh, the lever action is really good, and especially being able to reinforce with the aluminum bar, um, really does give strength to the lever action in and of itself. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with this, so... That's really going to be it for this video, so as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the Mare's Leg takedown, uh, have, or have you gotten any of the lever kits from Silver Fox, or if you like their stuff, let me know down in the comments below, love reading them all, and oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel, but again, thank you all for joining me, I'll see you guys next time. Later.